Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Chemical React. My name is Fusion Form, and over there like always is my co-host Gorilla Fist. Hello. And we have King of Shores, Season 2, Episode 3. New season, new fight, new insane moments. Ooh, right? Last oh, episode yeah. was pretty, pretty informative. Last episode, yeah, it really was informative, but uh, you know, going back and rewatching it, I forgot to point this out, or at least, it, at least I thought about it when I saw this, right? At least the message that I was trying to get, that I got was, it brings up an interesting point that you can only progress as far as your knowledge of whatever it is can go, you know? You're right. And at the end, he wasn't able to surpass his master because he didn't actually learn his master's or the Nico style technique fully. So he just right. has to imagine these scenarios. That's why he does shadow boxing. It's like, you know, if you're just a boxer, you're only going to progress as a boxer, not a complete fighter, et cetera, et cetera. But, but when he was talking with uh, Nico, he was like, Nico's like, you all, you don't know the full fighting of it, you know, each individual character. But then he even Oma acknowledges, I know this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just, but he still does it anyway. Yeah, because it's that part of it is the unknown trying to, you know, respond appropriately, just, you know? Just always fighting. Always, you know, you, you know, you perfect the same fighting over and over. Eventually, you'll get it. Oh, they got other girls on there now. <laughs> what about equality? Where are the... Oh, and technically, every man in here is buff. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, he's that jealous? Come on, guys. That's pretty good. Bloxy! The most vigorous. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. We saw him last episode. Yeah. Screaming. The guy who follows, yeah, he follows his friend everywhere to challenge him. So it's like a true protagonist. Oh, I like to look him at like I like to look at him as like Vegeta to his Goku. More like Vegeta with Goku's personality. Oh, look at him. He's running. He ready. I like this guy. I like his whole attitude. Who are, these, who are these people? They look interesting. Obviously, like, I guess high representatives. Mayor of Village Town. Don't know what that is. <laughs> what? <laughs> this matches a frame up. You mean it's a setup? Yeah. Aw. Not what I came here to see. Come here to see good fights. So what I'm under the impression of, it's they've set it up for him to lose because I guess the guy that he's fighting is super strong, so they're expecting him to lose. But I think he's gonna win. <laughs> I don't know, man. You got you got some wealthy billionaire people, you know, money signs that we don't even understand. So, I mean, he's clearly the underdog in this case, and the underdog's gotta win. Yeah, but not really. It's more In of a side character. gotta win. <laughs> you gotta remember, he's, this guy's been trying to face, uh, chase his best friend and beat him, and he, ha he has yet to beat him. Right, but, but that must mean he must not lose to anyone else. I know it's, uh, it's, it's off topic, right? Right. But it reminds me of, uh, Ninja Warrior, right? Yeah. And the first person to win, I think it was soccer. It was in Japan. It's called Soccer Warrior. But in, uh, with the way we know it, it's Ninja Warrior. I think it's Ninja Warrior 4 or 5. There was a fisherman who actually won the whole tournament for the first time. They're both, they're basically both under him. And that's what's happening here. Okay. To preserve so preserve the strength. Yeah. Sorry, I just went off. A, I don't know. I just wanted to bring that up because I still think about it. Well, he, he strangled a, a great white shark. Okay. I, I get, I get his point. International. Oh, he caught the international. <laughs> oh, he's a little oh, chubby. Damn, he's a big boy. Yeah, he's got that dad bod going on. Can you hear this music? It just reminds me of Naruto. Uh, thank you. Oh my god, yeah. I was thinking that. Holy shit. Naruto. <laughs> oh, Minar. Okay. Don't ask me to find that in the map. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> oh, so these are more Thai fighters. Yeah. Oh, so that explains that little, uh, the, the old guy with the little rap thing on his head. That's what I was saying. Like, he's interesting. He reminds you of something. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it just reminds you of, uh, 
what Muhammad Ali used to do. I think it was either Joe Fraser or Sonny Liston, where he would just harass him every day. Right. But in this case, it's not about harassing getting in his opponent's head. It's just about him challenging his opponent every day. Oh, they're going to fix it for him? Uh, I'm pretty sure they're... No, I think, I'm pretty sure they're talking about the young guy. Like, they're no, going to trick talking about him, the... and he's so stupid that he's not going to realize it. Yeah, but they're saying that the, the young guy's not in on it, therefore the old guy's right. in on it. He's going to be off balance, therefore he's not going to realize the fight is fixed, therefore the young guy's going to win. No, no, I think they're talking about the young guy. Okay. The... I like how uh, Jerry Tyson is now part of the cast of the announcing cast yeah, table. Yeah, Saw Pairing is, is, is the one they think is stupid. Okay. So... Yep, he got that Muay Thai stance. These guys aren't fighters. I, I freaking choked a great white shark. Is that Moby Dick? I mean, it might as well be. <laughs> oh. 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 Jesus what? Christ. Kind of reminds me of the, the Spartan with the spears. Yeah. You definitely know who you're the Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's not hey, there you Boy, there you go. Rumi's bare knuckle boxer. Hmm. I'm learning, right? <laughs> okay, punching his final core is a little too crazy, if you ask me. So much. <laughs> this is true. He is fast. So, yeah. How, tr how true is that? It's actually, uh, it's accurate and true, but how, uh, how... If people actually done that, like I said, I I want to say it's eighty percent true because I like I said, more tie fighters that what they do to train their shins, they keep they just kick trees, you know, until the shin breaks and it heals, and then, you know if your bone breaks, it comes back stronger. Huh. Okay. Now is that recommended? I I don't know. Oh, karate I, just, I didn't actually see that move coming from. Oh. Jeez, that one, that one hurt. I can't tell who's supposed to be framed anymore, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, just... Oh, you also hit the spinal cord, too? Ooh. Oh! Uh. Oh, jeez! <laughs> and he just laughs it off. That it? Wow. You took a hammer to the head? Wow. <laughs> Could you do that? <laughs> uh, no, because CTE, brain damage. That explains what's wrong with them. <laughs> uh, that, just seems, that seems to be the standard of every fighter. When they get their fingers cracked right, they just... It's normal, you know? I get, Yes, I know, it's the adrenaline. Don't, don't... You don't need to type that in the comments. <laughs> I know they're going to say that. Type in the comments anyway. Oh, oh, did you notice ooh, that? A, ooh, a rush. Yeah, he took a deep breath. He's about to unload. Oh, he's on his toe. What? What? It, what? It's, <laughs> what is he, a ballet, a ballet dancer? <laughs> Look at him. He's just like, yeah, I could do it. This this definitely reminds you of uh, how Jimmy know Epo. Yeah. Where uh, basically they're talking about how he's able to keep his balance and even though not falling off because he's he's been on a he's been on a fishing ship though his whole life. Yeah. So it it took away his land sickness. So in a way it helped him. Basically he just snapped back, you know. Yeah. He woke him up basically. What they're saying. Amazing. <laughs> Look at her. She's just like she's just into it. <laughs> Oh my what goodness. The? Oh my god, this guy can move. He's majestic. Yep, that's that fighter IQ. Ooh. Okay. That's not okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. What a fast bit of exchanges! Oh, yeah. Basically, the bear hug. 
Hey, look, yep. there you go. There you go. I was also gonna say it, but you beat me to it. <laughs> oh, he's coughing up blood. Oh, that's not what you have. Bro, Bro, you should be dead by that. There's a lot of people who should be dead in this. But you, you know, the cervical brain, he's gonna snap back. You're gonna wake up, buddy? <laughs> I'm guessing the electric company trying to close the fishing company. That's why he has a vendetta against the electric company dogs, you know? Yep. But here's the thing. I want the, the young guy to win because, you know, he's that young and energetic. He probably knows no better, but mm. he's just fighting. But I feel sorry for this guy. <laughs> yeah, because he has a reason to fight. And it's not like, you know, for money or for fame. It's just to protect... In a weird way, it's almost like a, an alternate, I don't want to say it, but like an alternate version of a gentrification. Right. Except this is a company trying to take over and buy a plot of land. Man, that sucks for the Fisher guy, but I told you he'd win. <laughs> you better run. You're about to get murked. Don't worry, I'll take care of the other guy. I can only think the plan was to the, the mess up the young guy so he would lose. But ultimately, they didn't do the plan. Oh, it's him. <laughs> oh. He looks normal. <laughs> or acting Almost. normal. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, it's this yeah, guy. It, it is a mouse. You're right. <laughs> a rat. Maki? Maki? <laughs> oh, my God. Destiny Land. Destiny Land. <laughs> I, I, I like that. I'm gonna go with that. It's right after with McDowell's. Mm. Coming to America for those who don't know. If he so, doesn't win, I'll be very disappointed. So what do you think he looks like underneath the, the costume? Think he looks normal? Is it? I crazy? imagine he's gonna be hideous or scary or ugly, but I really hope he's Wait, beautiful. What? What? Uh. Honold. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> where's uh, where's the other mouse? Where's Doofy? Doofy? <laughs> so dumb. Jesus. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Don't know where Dempsey. Definitely sensing it out. <laughs> oh. She's a furry. Is that? Is that? Is that it? I like him better this way. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. <laughs> I want the rest of the cast to show up. That's what I want. <laughs> oh. Doofy and Budo and... <laughs> so far, all we got is Maki and Hanu. And Maki just took off most of his clothes, except his pants and his uh, his mask. He, he also grew in size. Did he? <laughs> he got taller. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. He's, things are getting weird now, but I like I like the setup. I, really I was going to say something before, before they showed up, and I don't remember anymore. Remind me. Hey, you want to say something? Yeah, remind me I was going to say something. I don't, I don't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Damn. Well, well, this this sucks. Yep. We're on board. The fisherman lost. It was a fixed fight, even though he didn't want to go down like that. It was a tragic ending. Now, now the fishing port is gonna cease to exist, right? It's already ceased to exist. That was the whole. It was, it was, it, they lied, basically. Ah, uh, okay. I thought it was more like, you know, these are the plans. They're already doing it right now. And it's like, you still have... Well, I mean, it already ceased to exist at that point, if that's the okay. case. I thought it was like, these are the plans. They're working on it. And it's like, you you can stop this if you win or something. Like that, you know, I didn't know. It was just like, oh, it's already done. It's over. I kind of feel bad for him now. Probably the only guy that I feel bad for in his whole... Well, you know, and typically in these kind of stories... Now, I, I, I just... this just I just realized this. But typically in these kind of stories... Um, it's like, it's a tournament and then, uh, there's, they find out there's a root of the evil company and they got to deal with this and everybody gets back what they wanted kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I can't see that happening in this kind of show because 
it's not that kind of show. This is all about read. And... The thing about this show is that it has a lot of, it has so many subplots, you know. Basically, you got Omo who has to win. Then you have Kazuma who needs to win because he's in debt. But he's in debt to his boss. And his boss is trying to be slick, trying to win to become the chairman. Then you got like the, the bloodline, the Kurin family, right? And their whole legacy becoming the strongest fighter. And then you got these more subplots of like, you know, the, the, uh, the shady side of business, you know, basically yeah, pa making right. power moves and basically enforcing people to fight for you or making yeah, you and then we got like best boy Cosmo who needs to just win the tournament. He just needs to win the tournament. Just, just, he just needs to win the tournament. Just, <laughs> just, just pure, just out of pure, just you know, love and and just trying to you know, evolve as a fighter. I really like Cosmo. I can't wait to see him fight again. Yeah, out of all the people, Cosmo. I hope that I hope that injury doesn't mess him up in his next fight. I don't think so. I hope not. But uh, Suck. he's the prodigy. So let's yeah. hope he. Let's hope he. He's not gonna win, right? I don't know. I don't know who's gonna win this tournament. Don't don't tell me who's gonna win this tournament. <laughs> but but that but we get the we get the rat fight next, and that's the, the rat fight. <laughs> the the rat get... fight. I've been waiting for this one. That's what we're gonna call the next episode: the rat fight. <laughs> <laughs> so what if Hano just comes in as a tag team? Oh, man, that's what I was thinking about. Like, oh, what can make this tournament interesting? Like, could you imagine, like, uh, like, like I said in the beginning, like they had the battle royale in the beginning, right? Like, what about a tag team? Like, I don't know. Situation. So, so since it's called Destiny Land, their company's just called Destiny. I guess so. I don't see no hunters. <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> it's cool. Uh. Mm -hmm. well, they, didn't, they didn't say they just said that they they're from destiny land and if disneyland is disney the destiny land i would only assume is destiny do you think the duck is gonna get up and fight that's why i asked. it said like tag team or something okay okay sorry i'm just not used to the name honold okay neither am i we got maki over here i can i can deal with maki but not honold honold sounds too foreign it sounds like some guy from poland too german or Sounds like it's from, yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for the next fight. It's right next to Hans or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough rambling. I think we made our point of class here. So, like always, guys, we will see you to the next episode.